OK, so with our logic app updated uh, and hopefully connected to Cosmos, D, Cosmos DB, we're going to need to generate some more tweets to test it uh, and make sure that it's connecting OK, inserting the, the records and the documents um, as we'd expect. So to do that, we need to generate some more tweets. So here I am back in uh, Twitter. I mean, you could use your mobile client. You could use uh, lots of different ways to send the, the test tweets. I'm just using Twitter.com here. Make sure you add the hashtag that we're looking for. So our Logic App's looking for tweets with Azure Vision Lab uh, in the hashtag. And it also needs to have a picture. So I'm going to attach uh, a picture here of one of my cats. And click on Tweet and send that out. So now back, uh, I just go back to the Azure portal here, uh, back into this view. Now we can either wait a few minutes um, for the Logic app to to actually run, and we can hit refresh here a few times to see if that's happened, um, or we can force a trigger, uh, force a run um, by using this run trigger option up here. So that um, forces the Logic app to go and check for any new tweets. Um, sometimes it can take a few seconds if descending the tweet. Um, so we'll just run that a few times. So if it's picked up that new tweet, what we're looking for is this this view down here, uh, this run history to update. There we go. So that new tweet has uh, triggered a new run, and we can click on that and get the details of what's happened. So now there should be three main steps. Uh, obviously the trigger itself, we're looking for these green ticks, that looks good. Create or update document is the new one we've added, green tick, and we can see information about it. So that's looking good. Um, what we really want to do is check that the data is there in Cosmos DB. So to do that, I'm going to come back to the resource group. So I'm going to use this breadcrumb at the top, come back to Vision Lab, the resource group, and go back into my Azure Cosmos DB account. So I'm going to click into that, and we're going to use the Data Explorer, where we originally set up the, um, the database and the collection. So in this uh, view down here, there's Data Explorer. Click into that. We can see the, the database and the collections, photos. Under photos, we'll see documents. And now we'll see we'll have one document in here. Um, if I just zoom in a little bit, uh, we've got one document uh, in the view, sorry, in the, in the collection, and we can see it's put the data in there, the description, the caption. There's other information, the ID and the time, a, a URL, and these, uh, these properties with an underscore we can ignore. But that's actually looking pretty good. Uh, just a little bit squeezed in this uh, view here. Let's see if I can uh, fit this in a bit better. There we go. So, yeah, it's... This is our document, it's got the description, all of those tags, the captions, ID, time, and URL, just what, uh, as we'd expect. So that's looking really good. So the next step is to deploy our web application to be able to pick these um, results up and visualize them and display them on a website.